First and foremost, my goals were, when I first started my treatment was to stay clean. That was my goals first. And then to try to achieve some of the things I didn't do when I was using. You know, like get my family back together and take care of my daughter. And buprenorphine, it, to me, it's a wonder drug. The Baltimore Buprenorphine Initiative, or BBI, is a treatment program. The purpose is to help people who've had problems with heroin and other opioid addiction. When a patient comes in, they, re they will receive an orientation and an intake. At that time, they will be scheduled an appointment to meet with their physician within 48 hours. Buprenorphine is this medicine, the, uh, the opiate medicine, uh, and it's in the uh, brand name Suboxone. We use the word Suboxone or buprenorphine interchangeably. Suboxone has the blocker medication naloxone in it. Buprenorphine does not. Um, buprenorphine can, is, is highly abusable, where Suboxone is not. If you take heroin, and you're taking Suboxone, you will not feel high. Just being abstinent didn't work for me, so I decided to um, get on the boots, and I'm glad that I made that decision. You know, that's the, that's the best decision I have made ever in a long time. Most people who are not in a residential program really do much better and um, are much more likely to be in recovery when they're on a medicine like this. There are a number of services that you will receive under the BBI. Certainly the medication is probably uh, first and foremost the Suboxone dosing daily. You will receive counseling services which we believe co-partner with the medication. Transportation to and from the program will be offered and then entitlement services such as needing and getting insurance through the Baltimore Healthcare Access will be offered to you. BHCA helps connect people who don't have access to health insurance to health care and other necessary services in Baltimore City. BHCA is responsible for case managing clients who are part of the Baltimore Buprenorphine Initiative. Treatment Advocate is your case manager who will meet with you in treatment. They're going to do um, an assessment with you to figure out what your needs are. They're going to help you sign up for health insurance. If you need a birth certificate or a photo ID, they're going to help you with that. And then um, they're also going to help you as you meet your goals through the BBI and find a physician in the community who can help you transition so that you can continue taking Suboxone even after you're done with treatment. The first day is going to probably be your longest day that you will spend at our treatment facility because the first day is the intake and the induction. Okay, and that's a process that's going to involve counseling function along with the nursing and the medical function. At no time will the counselor not know what the doctor's doing, the nurse not know what the doctor's doing. We all work together. It went kind of smoothly because the people there made me feel comfortable. You know, they didn't make me feel like an uh, outcast or, or somebody that just was bad for using. We do a stabilization group, which is really to get you familiar with what to expect with treatment. And you begin the process or the journey of treatment. You come into the office if you are addicted to opiates or heroin, um, heroin or any sort of pain medications, then there would be a period of time where you didn't take any of that coming into the office, so you would essentially be in withdrawal, meaning your body is craving the opiate. And during that time, we would start you on a dose. We would pick a dose of medication and start you on that to see if that would help you to feel better. And if that doesn't make you feel better after a period of time, say seven or eight hours, then we would reassess you. You would come into the office and we would give you additional medication if you're still not feeling well. Usually patients start feeling better after three days of medication. On my first week of treatment, it was like a transitional period. I had to do the groups, um, and then I was working at the time, so they worked with me. They worked around my work schedule so that I could attend the groups, and then they medicated me so I wouldn't be sick. If you apply for a job and you get a urine test, they don't test for Suboxone, so you don't have to uh, tell anybody that you're on the medicine if you don't want to. The rules we had when, when I first started the buprenorphine program was first and foremost to stay clean. If you had the urge or, or if you think you, you get a relapse, you had a counselor on call 24-7.
when you're in recovery, it's not unusual to um, have a, a relapse. You know, it's not a good sign. It makes us worry, but it's not the end of the world. You know, some people are going to have some slips or relapses in, in, uh, in their recovery process. During the first two weeks, they see the nurse daily. Um, once they meet certain criteria as far as uh, group attendance, treatment compliance, um, and negative urines for opiates, then they move to a once a week medication pickup and proceed to um, every two weeks and then we have them successfully transfer out to a primary care physician. If you lose your medication, and let me be clear, medication is very serious, okay? Suboxone or buprenorphine is a controlled medication, and it's viewed by not only the treatment agency or services, but certain other agencies in terms of DEA, which is Drug Enforcement Administration, that this medication is very serious and should be handled in a manner very seriously. So we try to orientate clients that their medication is prescribed for them. It needs to be taken in the manner that the doctor has prescribed it for them. It should not be given to anyone else, okay, because the medication is solely for you. Um, to lose your medication does create problems because then all kinds of things come up in terms of, well, how did you lose it? Why did you lose it? Um, could the medication in some way have been um, sold? Um, certainly all those things come into play. If I get my pills today and they wait a couple days and tell me to bring my bottle back, so then, then I take two a day, so I should have a certain amount of pills when I bring my bottle back. And if it's not right, then they take them from you, as well as they should, because that means you're not using them for yourself. We have groups with like, um, maybe um, 10 or 11 members, and we are close like a family. My group experience, that was a better part of my recovery. I can talk to my counselor about anything that's going on. I wouldn't feel uncomfortable going to her telling her, hey, look, I feel like getting high, and I need some help.